Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 1, the first Age of Darkness. And when last we left off, let us check our stats and see that I finally have 99 points of strength, the final stat that the stranger needed to gain max stats in everything. And let me tell you, it took a very long time to get those points of strength, because the more strength you get, the slower the progress is. Eventually, when you get to 85 points of strength, any strength quest that you do, as far as I could see, the only way to gain strength was doing that. The uh, ponds that I put a small amount of money in didn't give me any strength. That said, I might have just been unlucky, but I'm digressing. The quests that you do to gain strength, as you get uh, higher up in strength, give you progressively less. And by the time you get to 85 points of strength, you were only getting two points of strength per completion before then, it goes down to one. And I had a very good uh, pattern going. I'd start at this castle, Lord British's castle, I would go up to the Tower of Knowledge, the uh, king in the uh, Castle of the Dragon wanted that uh, landmark visited, and that was his strength quest. By going there, you then head all the way to the west to get to the Grave of Lost Souls, where Lord British wanted you to go, and from there, you then head down to the Castle of the Dragon, gain strength there, take the quest again, and then go east to Lord British's lands, go to Lord British, get a quest from him, after handing in the quest you completed, and gain strength there. Suffice to say, it was a very long loop, and I only have 601 food left. I used to have a lot more. But that is in the past, and now we must move beyond the confines of Cesaria, for the only way that we can progress now is to find the location of the time machine. Out of my way, YOLO! I need to go to outer space, for yes indeed, it is now time to buy the most expensive form of transportation in the game, the space shuttle. It's a good thing that the stranger is perfectly capable of piloting a space shuttle. That said, it may just be the case that the uh, stranger has a space shuttle that has autopilot. And here is the space shuttle. We cannot move it anywhere, it is stuck there, and the only way to get into it is to leave our air car and then board the shuttle, whereupon we will take off immediately. I'm sure Tim will be fine just there, it may not look like Tim is far away, but trust me, Tim is far away. And now the countdown begins, and for some reason the uh, sea stops moving when the countdown begins. Apparently uh, getting into this uh, shuttle stops time. Thou hast lifted off! Welcome to the space surrounding Cesaria. There are many things we can do here. For instance, we could pilot into the sun if we wanted to. Let's not and say we did. There's also a space dock there, with two fighter craft docked there already. But we don't know where anything is! We don't know where the enemies are that we need to defeat to become a space ace? The only way to figure that out is to consult the sector scan. We can see that we are in the middle, the uh, blinking cross. The cross denotes that there is a space dock there that we can go to and uh, refuel if we need to. That is why we have lots of money, we may need to get more fuel. Anywhere where there is a uh, H denotes some enemies, there are also the uh, sort of diamonds that I think denote suns, we don't want to go into them. What we want to do is we want to go and defeat 20 enemies, and that will make us into a space ace. No idea. I've no idea how anybody on Cesaria figures out that we are a space ace, maybe there's a handy badge or a certificate that we can show them. But we do need to do this to complete the game. This was added by Richard Garriott in his words because he wanted to fill the disc as much as possible, and he wanted to do everything that he could with this game. And so we have a space fighting section. The first thing we need to do is we need to consider that every single action that we do will consume fuel. Even turning this shuttle will consume fuel. And because we're in space, we don't need to constantly burn fuel to move, we just need to get a little bit of momentum, and as long as we don't put any momentum in the opposite direction, we'll just keep moving. Our first objective is to dock with this spaceport. We need to be very careful, move forward, and then back, and hopefully we're aligned up, because if we aren't, we're going to crash into this, and that is going to damage our shields. If we run out of shields, our ship explodes. If we run out of fuel, we're also in trouble. Docked. Welcome to base. Choose thy ship. 
There are two choices here. The ship to the left has, uh, more fuel but less shields. The ship at the bottom has less fuel but more shields. Generally, if you're a worse fighter pilot, you pick the ship at the bottom. If you're a better fighter pilot, you pick the ship on the left. I am a terrible fighter pilot, so I'm going to be sticking with this ship. I have done a bit of practice with this because this is a uh, part of the game that I was a little bit concerned about. A part that I didn't know how to do. We're going to uh, get ourselves away from the dock here. We're not going to consume much fuel. We can't do anything right now unless we're moving. To get to a different sector, you have to engage the hyper jump. We use our magical hyper jump engines to get to new parts of space. And we want to get to anywhere where there's a H. We can see there are five H's directly beneath us. There's uh, two directly south and some that are easy to get to. We want to ideally plot a uh, efficient course to get to as many of these H's as possible. The only way that we're going to get there, though, is if we hyper jump while we're moving. If we're not moving, we will not hyper jump. So what we need to do is uh, get out of this mode and go this way a bit. Just to uh, get away from the dock, we don't want to collide with that. We'll then stop, turn, head down, and by pressing V, we will change into a different view. We are now in the cockpit view. We can move left, right, up or down if we like, and every single time we do, which will change where the crosshair is, the uh, cross in the middle is where our crosshair is, that will consume fuel. Right now we're consuming no fuel. We're also not going anywhere. The only way we can go somewhere is if we engage the hyper jump. It is totally not like any other kind of fast travel that you've heard of. Let's go. Hyper jump engage. We'll start going faster. And faster. Faster still. And then... Light speed! We are now where we need to be. The next sector. And here will be some enemies, and we'll need to fight them. We'll have uh, F ready to fire, and there is a foe. This foe will move away from our crosshair at all times. As long as we keep the uh, enemy in the middle, we can now fire and get a hit. Some of the enemies we will not be able to do anything with, like that foe there, too far away. And that foe, also too far away. We need to get one that's sort of in the middle, or you, if we're fast enough we can... Yep, there we go! This foe is going to start firing at us, but we'll start firing at this foe, and can we get a hit? We did get a hit! That is our second successful hit! None of these foes have managed to uh, get a successful shot on us yet. They will eventually. There we go. This will be our third kill, if we can get it. We need 20, and you've definitely not seen these kind of ships before, at all. They're definitely not like a different kind of ship. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, this mode, and we're going to stop. We are in a different system right now, and we could take that shuttle. We're not going to, though. Only by stopping will we uh, be able to consider where we need to go next. Let us uh, inform ourselves of our locations that we need to be. Always remember that Cesaria is in the middle of the map. We've defeated three enemies. We need to defeat a lot more. I think if we go east here, and then south, and then west a few times, we should be okay. So, we head in this direction. Not that direction, that's vital fuel that we're wasting. Do this to start heading in that direction change our view. Note that we'll just keep cycling around until we uh, hyper jump. And then, hyper jump engage! Off we go! We're gonna go faster, faster still, even faster, and there we go! The screen briefly freezes, and we will see some enemies that we will have to face. Hopefully enemies that we'll be able to defeat. We need to defeat 17 more fighter craft. This is a really peculiar mode. Consider the fact that uh, even though we've had air cars and a blaster, we're now fighting spaceships in space to become a space ace. And that was the fourth successful ship that we've destroyed. And you got a shot off. Can we get you? We can eventually. Let's see. Are you going to reveal yourself by getting closer? Can we hit you here? Not yet. We need you to be a little bit closer. 
There we go! A fifth hit, and that is all we need to do here. We now need to head this way, because south are even more enemies. We have defeated quite a few foes. Don't worry about figuring out, uh, or keeping track of how many you need to defeat to become a space ace. The game will tell you. Let us hyper jump. Using hyper jump does consume fuel quite a bit. That's why you need to be very careful with your movements and make sure that where whatever you do, you do not run out of fuel. That's kind of bad for your survival. We have now emerged in this sector that we shall call Sector Fred. What is in Sector Fred? But more of these spaceships that we've never seen before. Never before has a design like this ever been used in anything. We just need you to stay here and kapow! One hit, and there was only one enemy in here. Let's stop, turn this way, check that we need to go this way, and we do. There's nothing here at all, as you can see. Just empty space. So let us go forward, change the view, hopefully there's a nice comfortable chair that the stranger is sitting on, and of course, hyper jump! We need to hyper jump! Go to the fastest speed that we possibly can! Light speed! Excellent. We are in a new location. And that clicking certainly is persistent, isn't it? Any more fighters here? There'll be at least one. There could be any other number, though, and I hope there are a lot, because we need a lot of these, uh, fighters. Twenty in total. Hello? Are you going to start shooting at me? I hope so. You're shooting now. Can we shoot you? Not yet. There we go! One hit, one kill. And stop. Check to see if we can go forward. We need to go forward. That's fine. Let us go forward. We could stop there, but we're not going to. At the uh, dock, we don't need to. So, we'll go forward, go into the view, and of course, it is time to hyper jump. Engage! Speed of exceptional speediness! I'm surprised the stranger can pilot this. I mean, it's understandable that he could pilot an air car, the shuttle even less so, but a fighter? In space? I mean, a space fighter? That's something else entirely. How many foes are here? Well, there's one. That's not quite what we want. We want a few more. About seven, eight would be nice, but I don't think we're going to be so fortunate, are we? Hello? Would you like to shoot us? You would like to try? We shot you, though, and there is another one here. Let us see if we can get you. You're getting rather close. But we can get you if we're lucky. There we go. There's another one here, too. Can we keep you here? Maybe we can. We can! Excellent. The key is to make sure that you uh, get to the corner quite quickly. If you can get to the corner of the screen, it's very difficult for them to uh, get away. Excellent. We have taken care of you. There is another one of them. We don't want to go there just yet. But we've also run out of places we can go to uh, gain more enemies. What we could do is we could go to the left and then up. That seems like a good idea, so let's do that. Let us hyper jump and hope that we don't hit that space dock. That would be a little bit awkward. I never knew that the uh, the lands around Cesaria and the space around it were so high in technology. The fact that uh, we haven't seen any other people flying around Cesaria in spaceships and uh, advanced air cars is a bit surprising. But hey, maybe we're the only one that knows this secret. We are still here. We might as well uh, go to here and take a look at where we are. We can go up or we can go down. It's actually better for us to go up here. You'll note that, uh, there we go. You need to uh, be very careful as to, oh, careful. There we go. We're going a little fast, but that's fine. Let's actually slow down a bit. We don't want to be going that quickly. If you're changing where you're facing and changing your uh, amount of thrust, you will start going at diagonals. You really don't want to go at diagonals. You can go at diagonals, and that will mean that you uh, head in a diagonal uh, direction. I actually probably should have done that. It would have saved me some fuel, but currently we're fine. We have plenty of fuel, and with luck, this hyper jump will take us to a place with loads of enemies, where we can then do battle, become a space ace, and then we can go back to Cesaria, rescue a princess, and hopefully then everything will be fine. 
I hope so. If we can defeat Mondain, of course. Any more foes for us to shoot with zappy laser pew pews on a spaceship? Well, we're not going to get to you, are we? Nope, you're way too far away. You? Maybe not. We just need to get over to... Nope, maybe. If we get to here... You're... Nope, you got away. That is unfortunate. This is all vital fuel that we're wasting. And you're probably going to get away, are you? No! You are not going to get away. You tried, but you failed. You cannot escape the stranger. The stranger is a fine shot. We just need to actually get a good hit in here. And... There we go! One fighter destroyed, and I think that was the only fighter here. So, let's uh, consider where we need to go. We need to then go north, that's fine, there's just the sun here. We don't want to hyperjump, can only be made from front of you indeed. Speaking of hyperjump, let us hyperjump! We have 1,000 fuel, we have used a fair bit of fuel. Hopefully the amount of money that we have is sufficient that we won't die. Also, note that our uh, shields have replaced our health. Health is unimportant when we're in space, because if our spaceship blows up, we're probably dead anyway. Any more fighters? There are some fighters here! Enemy foes that we must best, and hopefully we can get you. I think we can, we just need to be careful, and aim, and fire! We got you, and you were the only person here. Let us, uh... That's not so good. We want to go diagonally, I think. So, if we do that, we're now heading diagonally. And this, hopefully, should be sufficient to get to that area that's to the, uh, northeast of us. Because we don't want to, uh, go to somewhere where we, uh, have nothing to fight. So, let us go into the, uh, view mode, engage hyperjump, and hopefully this will take us to where we want to go. Fingers crossed. Now we are at very ludicrous speeds indeed. And now we are not. There we go! We are here. There is at least one foe for us to best, although I hope there are a few more. Can we get up here quickly? We cannot, but we can definitely stop you from go getting away. Okay, you're going to go there. We are circling you. And pow! Nope, we missed, and we didn't miss there! There is another one, though. This is good, we need more fighters. We also need to get more fuel at some point. Desperately need some more fuel, and you got away. That's no good. We don't want you to get away, you're going to get away as well. And you're going to get away. No, you are not going to get away. We were too fast for you. We might want to consider uh, going and getting more fuel at some point. And zap. Nope. Zap. Did we get you there? We did get you there. Note that uh, firing the lasers does consume fuel. Almost everything consumes fuel. You're firing. The aliens may fire, but they will not be successful. You've got to get a little closer here. You really do. Are you closer? You're a little closer. And I keep missing you. I keep missing. And I'm not going to miss now, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. We are heading this way. We actually want to uh, do that. And now we are heading this way. Because there are some more enemies that we can defeat over there, and we want to defeat those enemies. Then we can head back down to the uh, dock by Cesaria, and we can get some more fuel. Quite important that we do that, but for now, hyper jump! We have more foes to best, and I have lost track of how many we've defeated. Suffice to say, it's a lot, but it's not enough. How many are here? How many will we have to best, stranger? Let's have a look. And... where are they? There they are! There's one right here! Hopefully there are a lot more than just you. We're definitely gonna have to be careful though, our fuel is going a little low. You're shooting at us? That's no good. I'd rather you weren't, actually I'd rather hope that you are the only person here. And you got away. I didn't prevent you from getting away. Also, you are a long way away. Look at you, you're miles away from us. Are you actually going to appear? You're going to try and get away, that's for sure. I'm not going to let that happen. Oh no, we let one of you get away, not you. There's another one, though, and we only have 367 fuel. 
That's kind of bad. We can't leave until all of these foes have been defeated. We're not going to get you at all. You're going to get away. Are you going to get away, though? Possibly not. Carefully does it, stranger. We need a good shot here. A good shot indeed. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, but so is the enemy. Can we take a shot here? Not there. We desperately need you to get closer, alien fighter. There you are. Just need to get a good shot. That was not a good shot. That was a good shot, but there is a third one. Oh dear. Careful. Conserve every unit of fuel that we have here, stranger. Make every shot count. And hope that there isn't a fourth one. If there is, we're in some bother. And a hit? Yes! Right. Stop. Look at where we are. We are here. If we head south, we can get back to the dock. And we will. There we go. Hyper jump. We desperately need to go and refuel. We haven't defeated enough enemies yet, and we are running out of fuel. 201, it's going to probably go down to 101. Let's hope it doesn't go down too much. It is now at... There we go, I think we're okay. Yep, 101. We are here. We must now stop. Oh, no, no, that's not good. Stop. This way? This way. And we need to stop about here. Turn. A little bit like that. Forward. Hopefully this will be aligned properly. It doesn't look like it. Crunch. Back. Like that. Now we are aligned. This will work. Uh, we probably want to actually switch ships here. I think switching ships might be a good plan. Uh, let's go for this one. There we go! We are in the left ship now. This ship has a lot more fuel. We can quite safely go and explore anywhere we like in this one. So let us do that. Let us uh, have a look at the map and see what is here. Not a whole lot, but there are a lot of fighters over to the east that we can go and take care of. So let us do that. First, we'll get away from the dock. We don't want to crash into that. There we go. And then... We shall ready the hyper jump. Hyper jump away! The sooner we hyper jump, the better off we'll be. Marvelous. We only have 1,000 shields. That's not good. Far less shields than we had before. But at least now we won't perish. In space. With no fuel. Because in space, no one is going to rescue the stranger. We are now here, that's fine. We can just hyper jump again and get all the way over to here. The sooner we get to those fighters, the sooner we can best them, the sooner we can get out of the space fighting part of the game. We really need to get past this bit and defeat Mondane. We are a long way from Cesaria. We could just fly away from Cesaria and forget that Cesaria is in trouble, but that wouldn't be very good of us, would it? We'd just be flying away from all of our problems, and that's a terrible idea. Ideally, we actually want to go uh, at a different trajectory. We want to go this way. So that we can get to the very top of that uh, line of three sets of fighters, and then we can uh, hopefully get enough uh, kills with against the aliens that we can become a space ace. It is taking a while, but... We haven't died, and that's the important part. We haven't died at all, actually. And there is that enemy. This enemy is most certainly trying to shoot us. That's good. We want the enemies to uh, get closer. We have a lot of fuel. All the time we need to get you. And fire! One successful hit. Fortunately, they have no shields, so if they get hit, they just explode. And we need to circle you and make sure you don't get down there. Actually, let's just stay beneath you. Wait for you to get a better shot off. Are you going to try and shoot us? Kapow! Thou has achieved the rank of Space Ace! Unfortunately, we need to defeat you so that we can uh, get away from here. Also, ow! Did you see how little uh, that um, shield is remaining? That was one shot. 
That was one shot. Maybe I should have stuck with the other, um, shield. We got you, though. We are still a space ace! That is encouraging. Let us stop. And... stop completely. And work our way back to where we were. Back to Caesarea. To do that, we need to go, uh, forward three times, and then down once. Or, we can just do this, and hyper jump doing this, and then we can just head east twice, and we will be back in the area of Caesarea. Light speed! Marvelous. We are back here to this empty vacuum of space where there are certainly no fighters. I don't think they respawn. Maybe they do if you decide to come back, but we're not going to. We're going to uh, do that, and then actually let's do this so that we don't crash into the sun. We don't want to crash into the sun. We have done all of this uh, to not crash into the sun. So we're just going to uh, get into the middle here with this and hyper jump. Twice more, and we will be done with the space section. It's certainly interesting, and it adds a little extra game mode to a game that actually isn't very long if you know what you're doing. But we do know what we're doing, at least I think I know what I'm doing. We need to hyper jump again, I think. Yes, once more. Let us hyper jump one final time. We have loads of fuel. Maybe I should have just stuck with this one. No, no, that would have been a terrible plan. If we'd have been hit a few more times, that would have been it. We'd have just died horribly. But here we are, back at Caesarea. We cannot land on Caesarea with one of the fighter craft. If we try, it will not end well. We want to stop because we want to dock over on the side which we were already on, and that is not docking. But I suppose it can get us over to this side. That will be fine. Let us ready. I, I keep forgetting that I need to uh, turn when I want to uh, stop moving. Like that. Avoid the sun. Don't fly into the sun. There we go. We're nearly there. Let's then turn around and that. Are we aligned? No. Are we aligned now? I think we aren't. Crunch indeed. Let us, uh, do that. And I think we're aligned now. Let's see. Yes. We are now in the right ship, which is our shuttle. And to get back to Caesarea, all we need do is fly back to the planet. Once we're back on the planet, we can then go and rescue a princess, because we are now a space ace, and we will find out where the time machine is. And once we know where the time machine is, we can go and defeat Mondane. At least I hope we can defeat Mondane. Who can say if we're actually capable of it? Let us stop here, and fly back to the planet. Thou hast landed safely. Let us exit, and get back in our air car by uh, boarding, not entering. There we go. And when we come back, folks, now that we're a space ace, the stranger can go and rescue a princess. We'll hopefully be told where the uh, time machine is, and then we'll be able to take the fight to Mondane at last. Will we prevail? Who can say? But I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.